You used to have two cars, traded them in. Now we're down to one. Good economic sense. Although the new car's a Porsche for her. I got them a toaster. They called off the wedding and gave the toaster back to me. I tried to return the toaster to the store and they said they no longer sold that kind of toaster. So now my house has got two toasters. Guess who just ordered from your favorite pizza place, Alfredo? Wait. Alfredo's Pizza Cafe? Or Pizza by Alfredo? Same thing. No, 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 no. All right, no, 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 no. you know what? I don't understand when you all talk at the same time. Oscar, talk to him. Michael, there's a very big difference between these two pizza places, both in quality of ingredients and in overall taste. Which one did you order from? Pizza by Alfredo. Oh. WB Jones is renovating their offices, and their construction crews are taking up some of the parking spaces we used to get. So we had to park at a satellite parking lot over there. I've been here nine years now. All of a sudden, I'm supposed to park half a mile away. I lost a penny out of my loafers, Oscar. I will quit. As God is my witness, I will quit if this is not fixed. Some of us like the walk more than others. Do you realize what we're losing? Seriously. Email forwards. Exactly. Mwah. Can we afford to lose email forwards? Do we want that? Dwight, why is the toilet paper only half apply? Oh, I'm sorry. Is that not good enough for your anus? Don't get me started on how coddled the modern anus is. OK, um, Stanley, maybe you can just unspool a little more each time you need to. Don't tell me how to do my business. Oh, come on. Do you see this? Disgusting. The man is wearing sandals. I don't need to see Oscar's toes at work. Gross. I mean, he looks like he just got off the boat. Dang, you just not look at his feet. Excuse me? I enjoy having breakfast in bed. I like waking up to the smell of bacon. Sue me. And since I don't have a butler, I have to do it myself. With these bottles, we eliminate the need for plastic water bottles, which are the scourge of the environment. We will still get to use the little cups, though, right? Little cups, like uh, paper or plastic? Or... I don't know what they're made of. They're two ounce paper cups dipped in plastic. He goes through 20 a day. OK, well, I bet you can fit 20 little cups of water in your aluminum bottle. Really? You don't have enough water in there, in your stomach? No. What? Uh, looks like we kicked it. I miss the old Dunder Mifflin. Too much change is not a good thing. I got this poster for Christmas, and I feel I want to see it every day. It makes me feel like the babies are the true artists, and God has a really cute sense of humor. Come on, seriously, that? I don't like looking at it. It's creepy and in bad taste, and it's just offensive to me. It makes me think of the horrible, frigid stage mothers who forced the babies into it. It's kitsch. It's the opposite of art. It destroys art. It destroys souls. This is so much more offensive to me than hardcore porn. Okay, okay, about okay. Stop. Hey, Kelly. Screw you. Excuse me. That is no way to address a superior. Oh, yeah? Screw you, too. Whoa. What was that all about? You forgot her birthday. It was yesterday. My birthday was yesterday, and everybody forgot. I got really dressed up and excited, and no one said a word. There wasn't even a party. I think sometimes people are really mean to the hot, popular girl. Did you not tell the security guard we were working late? Nope. I didn't. But let's go inside, and I can call him right now. We can't. I locked the office from the inside when we left. Perfect. You guys work together on this one. If I'm not in my bath with a glass of red wine in one hour, you're both dead. Coffee monkeys arrived. I thought the coffee was supposed to be at nine. Here you go, big O. Tiny. Daryl Hannah. That says decaf. You have me decaf? 
Ooh, yeah. Must have been some sort of mix-up there. You could order just drink it, or should I drive all the way back? Who the hell's going through our stuff? Actually, that's Nick. He's your new IT guy. Uh, he's setting up a site blocker, mostly blocking the inappropriate sites. And then there are the time-wasting sites like Twitter, YouTube. We are blocking those as well. No, don't like that. And, and George, his, his youthfulness, <laughs> his, um, his freedom um, evokes um, feelings. Um. What are you microwaving? Popcorn. Why don't you use the microwave in the kitchen, Phyllis? S someone needs to clean it. It smells like popcorn. Yeah, no, it seems to be going great. Andy got beat up by a fifth grade girl. Look at that guy. He's got his sleeper phone on him. He's not even using it. This is a perfect photo for my daily fail blog. Are you trying to sabotage this entire event? I'm very sorry. We gave you an arrowhead for free for the day. How hard would it have been to do this? Hmm? Hello. Hi, sweetie, it's Jim. I'm calling you from the new Arrowhead, which is why my voice is crystal clear, and my hand will never get tired because of the ergonomic shape. Um, 6350, and that's not including tip. Right, I have the coupon, so half of 6350 and half the tip on 6350. Half off coupons only apply to orders of two pizzas. Yeah, no, I told them on the phone I was ordering eight pizzas. I don't carry to them on the phone, that's our policy. You didn't actually think that I was going to spend 60 bucks on pizza. It's not pizza. Okay. It doesn't say it anywhere on the coupon, and if it's your policy, it should say it on the coupon. What do you mean? Not my problem. Guess what, everybody? Christmas has come early this year. Oscar, very smartly, has discovered an extra $4,300 in the budget. Thank you, Oscar. And I have decided, with that money, I am going to buy a new... Drum roll, please. Can anybody guess? New chairs? No, a new copy. Yes. All right. Unless everybody can agree on something better? No, no, please, please do not do this. Yes, time... Michael, new chairs. These chairs are terrible. We were supposed to get new ones last year. So we all agree to get new chairs then, good? Good, yeah, he said good, I'm good. No, listen, we are a paper company. How can we take pride in our jobs if we have to put our fine paper in this wretched machine? Oscar, no, this is not the time for one of your principled stands. <laughs> Pam, you make more copies than anyone. Exactly, that should tell you how terrible the chairs are. Okay. Hey, hey. We are splitting a sublet on a place near Philly. Just a couple of grown, sexy ass roommates. And as much as I miss Pam and the kids, it's uh, kind of nice to live the bachelor life again. You know, let your hair down. Jim was nice enough to give me his bedroom. I'm couching it. Which usually means there are clothes all over the living room. And this dude labels his food. He's the clean one, I'm the messy one. How much fun is this? I love Jim. I love that he hooked me up with a job. It's just, he uses old t-shirts as wash rags. He doesn't wash his dishes. Apparently they need to soak. He hooked me up with a job. 